Hello, wonderful viewers, and welcome to another episode on Nebel TV. And I'm Kostan Tabasugi. On today's show, I'll be giving updates on security issues in Edo State. Edo State has experienced a lot of security challenges ranging from kidnapping, robbery attacks, breakaway and entering, vandalization, and looting of properties, food items, and even films and cash, assassination, and even other security experiences in the past few days and this has resulted to fear for those in the state recently the national police confirmed cell break to rearrest intensify units for eight others in Edo state the police command in Edo on monday confirmed a cell break incident at the command headquarters in benin and dispelled the rumor on the number of escapes the confirmation is contained in a statement signed by sp chidi wambuzo the police public relations officer of the command According to the statement, this incident occurred at about 2.45 a.m. early hours on Friday, January 1st. Wambuza said the command decided to set the record straight, contrary to publications that had gone viral on social media and other platforms, alleging that hundreds of armed robbery and kidnapping suspects had escaped. Only 10 escaped, escaped after the cell break. Two of the escapes have been rearrested while we intensify out for the remaining eight. He said that the publication on social media and other platforms alleging that hundreds of suspected armed robbers and kidnappers escaped from the state's criminal investigation department, SCID, facility was false. In his words, he said, Edo Police Command wishes to inform the general public that 10 suspects escaped on January 1st, 2020, at about 2.45 a.m. Out of this figure, two have been rearrested and brought back to custody. The figure is not as being maliciously and falsely speculated on social media. The PPRO also disclosed that eight of the suspects were detained on the orders of the court. Given a breakdown of the cell SKPs, it said one was in custody for stealing, another for murder, three for courtism, three for robbery, while the other two were under police investigation for stealing. It is worthy to note that the quick mobilization and response of officers curbed further escape of suspects. The policemen who were responsible for the safe custody of the escaped suspects have been identified, arrested, and detained for departmental disciplinary process. Effort is being intensified to rearrest the fleeing suspect. The command has the intelligence to rearrest the remaining suspects who are on the run, but will still appreciate any useful information from the members of the public. No stone will be left unturned in ensuring that all those suspects are rearrested. He also encouraged members of the public not to show any form of fear as the police is committed to protecting lives and properties of citizens. According to Juan Buzo, he said, the command assures members of the public of its continued commitment to protect lives and property of law-abiding citizens. So, viewers, the issue of security in the state shouldn't be left for the police alone to handle. In our only two way, we can as well support them in carrying out their jobs effectively. What that means is that we should report suspicious activities and movements around us to the police and be security conscious at all times. So guys, let's get your views concerning security around the state and your opinion on how we can curb these activities that are disturbing and causing fear for those in our society. Drop a comment in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification bell for more updates on newer episodes from Nebel TV. I still remain Costance or Basige. Have a blessed week. God bless Edo State and God bless Nigeria.